Not yet. Let's get together. Of course, let's do it. How's your day? I'm good, Dad, but there's a lot of things in the to do. Don't worry, your mom is tired. So she's preparing them. Go. Who's Dad? Hi, Nat! Welcome home. The food is ready. Sana, ganun nga yung nangyari. You look so weird. Yeah, I agree. What kind of face is that? Sino ba to? She the new student. Yeah. It's no longer an ordinary exit. It was now the so-called psycho. Patrick, are you listening? Hey, Patrick, you're not still done with that? Nerd. You're being useless. Go inside. You're late again. I told you to be home at two. What time is it? It's already five. Where have you been? No. Social anxiety disorder, also called social phobia, is a long-term and overwhelming fear of social situations. It's a common problem that usually starts during the teenage years. According to the World Health Organization, mental and behavioral disorders account for about 14% of the global burden of disease and as many as 450 million people suffer from these illnesses. Republic Act 11036, otherwise known as the Mental Health Act, has been promulgated to enhance and integrate mental health service delivery to universal healthcare through promotion and protection of the rights of persons using psychosocial health services and increasing investments in mental health. How can we help them? What's good for the heart is good for the mind. Keeping active is a great way to manage your mental health as well as your physical health. Set up workplace-based physical activity initiatives or raise money for charity by signing up to an event. People with social anxiety usually feel fear of being criticized, avoid eye contact or have low self-esteem, often have symptoms like feeling sick, sweating, trembling or a pounding heartbeat. Giving back and volunteering. Research suggests selfless acts of kindness help improve your mental well-being. They give people a sense of purpose and self-worth. They boost how good you feel about yourself and positive elevate your mood. Set up a thank you wall in your office and fill it with post-it notes. Over to help at your local care home or community center or set up a workplace allotment and grow your own vegetables. You, as a student, can help people with anxiety by giving them comfort or advice. We, as students, can do much. Help people with social anxiety to improve our society.